Climate change is causing Antarctic ice shelves to shrink and split apart, releasing thousands of free-drifting icebergs. Until recently, no one knew how this increase in icebergs might affect the chemistry and biology of the Southern Ocean. Our research team, led by Ambari marine biologist Ken Smith, conducted three month-long cruises to the Weddell Sea in 2005, 2008, and 2009. We used a variety of tools to track icebergs and study the chemical and biological processes surrounding the icebergs. To follow individual icebergs, we used satellite and GPS tracking devices that were dropped on the iceberg using radio-controlled airplanes. The weather and sea conditions made this a challenge, but we were eventually able to successfully track two icebergs using these tags. A small, remotely operated vehicle, or ROV, was deployed to survey the undersides of each iceberg, providing a real-time video stream. We observed images of zooplankton in close proximity to the iceberg. A collection net was also fastened to the ROV to sample algal communities attached to the ice. We also modified an existing solo float, a type of drifting profiler, to collect particles of sediment, bits of dead algae, and krill debris that drifted down from the waters under and around the iceberg. This new instrument, called a Lagrangian sediment trap, was programmed to sink 600 meters, about 2,000 feet, below the ocean surface while a large iceberg drifted overhead, then rise back to the sea surface after the iceberg had passed. While the iceberg passed overhead, falling material is collected in four funnels. The Lagrangian sediment trap allows us to measure, for the first time, the amount of organic carbon sinking into the deep sea beneath a large free-drifting iceberg. We found that about twice as much carbon sank into the deep sea within a 30-kilometer or 18.6-mile radius of the iceberg compared with the open ocean control area. Through this research, we concluded that icebergs, both large and small, play an important role in controlling how much carbon from the atmosphere is taken up by algae and ultimately transported into the deep sea. This is Alana Sherman from Mimbari.